This lecture is entitled Complex Normal Tension Glaucoma. I've been interested in normal tension glaucoma for over 20 years since I first had the opportunity to work with Roger Hitchings in his NTG clinic at Moorfields Eye Hospital. And I use the term complex normal tension glaucoma to refer to one of the subtypes of NTG. So I'm going to illustrate the case of complex glaucoma with this particular case of a 36-year-old, moderately myopic male, who was noticed to have bilateral visual field defects on a routine visit to his optometrist. He'd gone to the optometrist complaining that he couldn't see very well when he looked up and to the right, and subjectively his symptoms had been progressing for about three to four months. There were no associated symptoms, in particular, no headaches, no symptoms of any form of migraine, and no Raynaud's phenomena. There was no history of blood loss, shock, or previous head trauma. He had an interesting past medical history in that he'd always been very well, but again, just recently, just prior to presentation, his family doctor had noticed that he'd had hypertension with quite significant blood pressure elevation at 220 over 110. His GP had started an ACE inhibitor, Ramipril, and from the documentation that we had available, there had been no sudden reduction of blood pressure. There was no history of steroid use in any form either systemic, skin, ocular inhaled, or rectal for hemorrhoids. The gentleman denied anabolic steroid use. He denied the use of any drugs for erectile dysfunction and denied recreational drug use. There was no family history of note of any ocular problems. However, he did have a positive family history for relatively early onset ischemic heart disease, cerebrovascular disease and hypertension in male family members. When we initially examined him, he had excellent acuity in both eyes with normal colour vision, no RAPD, and on intraocular pressure phasing, his highest intraocular pressures were 18 millimetres mercury in each eye, although he did have a moderately reduced central corneal thickness at 5.23 microns in one eye and 5.16 in the other. If you enjoyed this lecture so far, please subscribe to http colon forward slash forward slash iop dot vision. I hope you enjoyed this series as much as we have putting it together. Thank you.